all recipe notifications click on this bell icon and never miss a video from get curried mashed potatoes are something that by default everyone ends up ordering in a restaurant well i won't say it's difficult to make but trust me it's very tricky on that note let's make mashed potatoes well i would suggest to use dry or starchy potatoes or old potatoes well the potato like i said needs to be dry and starchy you need to boil it well peel it right and the next step is to mash it now for mashing i'm of course using a potato masher to begin with you need to mash it individually like so ensure that all the potato becomes nice and soft something like this but here if you closely notice the potato is still a little gritty let's wait and watch Well initially when you begin mashing the potatoes it looks very easy but trust me when the quantity keeps increasing it kind of gets a little tiring well but that's the beauty of making mashed potatoes so we better well go through that well just a little while earlier i showed you the grits in the potato the next step is to take care of those i'm passing the potato mash through a sieve well again you need to do this in smaller portions and not everything at the same time because otherwise it's going to get difficult what we are looking at is just passing the grits and making them finer so here if you notice we have a beautiful soft mashed potato here and on the other side you have absolutely nothing so that's exactly how we need to work ahead and similarly let's mash and pass all the potato through the sieve once all of the potato mash has been passed through the sieve Let's keep this aside and let's move on to chopping some parsley or chives. For this I'm using some curly parsley and chopping that nice and fine. Once the parsley is chopped like any other leafy vegetable, the next step is to start cutting this using a rocking motion like this. Well, potatoes and parsley of course are a classic combination and so is potato and chives. Chopping parsley is going to take you anywhere between 4 to 5 minutes, but trust me chopping it nice fine and almost like powder is going to be worth the effort well on that note let's move on to the next step and that is getting the mashed potato cooked to perfection well i'm heating a nonstick pan in this case and adding in salted butter while while adding butter i'm just going to retain a teaspoon of butter and keep that aside for later use well at face value this looks like a lot of butter but trust me The flavor of butter is everything in a mashed potato. The next thing that goes in is milk. And while there is still a lump of butter which is here, I'll add in the potato which has been passed through the sieve. Time to add in some salt. Be extremely careful with the addition of salt because there's no water in this recipe. Salt is there in the butter and salt was also added in while boiling the potatoes on medium flame. churn this nicely and evenly till all of this gets almost emulsified now the next question that would arise is how much do we cook the mashed potatoes once all of this potato mass comes together that's the sign that the mashed potato is done and ready the next step now is to start flavoring this at this stage you can add in pepper you can add in thyme you can add in rosemary well that's a personal choice what i'm adding like i said earlier is some parsley Give this a quick mix. With this, your mashed potato is done and ready. Let's transfer this nice and piping hot in a serving dish, and top this with the remaining butter and parsley. So with this, your soft, silken, and almost custard-like mashed potato is done and ready. Well, top this on pies, serve it with steak, so have it just like that. Mashed potato is eternal. Quick, simple, easy, and what's more important is this one is just under five ingredients. Do not forget to like and share the video and subscribe to get curried.